Happy New Year from Obsession Engineering. I hope your hangover isn't too bad today. I just thought I'd take a couple of moments to talk about the good and bad of last year and what's coming up for next year with Obsession Engineering. Looking back at last year, there were definitely more highs than lows, but we're going to just scoot over the low bits first and get them out of the way. The low point of the year for me was the TT. This should be the highlight of my calendar. It is the thing I sort of put my most emphasis into, and it didn't go to plan. Realistically, the biggest problem was I didn't ride fast enough, and for next year I will be fixing that. There were, of course, also some major losses during the event. For me, the biggest one was losing Davy Morgan, because he was just such a great guy in the paddock, and he was part of the fabric of road racing, and losing him was a real blow to the TT. Davy and the others we lost at TT, they may be gone, but they will not be forgotten. But moving on from the TT, we'll start looking at the good bits of the year. My favourite bike of the year is my little RS660 Super Twin. That bike is a cool little tool. My only disappointment with the RS660 really was my own performance at TT on it. And so that is going to be remedied for this year. There are going to be a few improvements on the Aprilia, but we already know it's capable of going considerably quicker than I went on it, because at the Manx Grand Prix, when I let my little protégé Martin Morris out on it, he promptly went faster than me on it, which went down brilliantly, and we were all very happy about that. <sighs> but anyway, the Manx Grand Prix was a great event. It ran a little bit smoother than TT. I got to ride my ZXR 750, which is great, and I got to break Chris Barrett's TZ, which wasn't quite as great, but I still really thank Chris for letting me use it. We also had Rick Kay and Stuart Clockworthy, who were also newcomers along with Martin. They all did a brilliant job. They all rode really, really well. They were safe. They were fast. And next year, we're going to be building on that with them. The next highlight of the year was my trip over to Mexico and Laguna Seca. So the Baja International Tourist Cup is a almost ridiculous event. This is road racing in Mexico. So a bit like Irish road racing, but with some sunshine and more jagged rocks. Pedro, who runs it, has done a brilliant job building the event up. And year on year, it is getting bigger and it's getting better. But the circuit it's held on, it's so fast and so exciting that the future for that event, I'm hoping, will be bright and sunny. The sister event for the Baja International Tourist Cup is the San Pedro Hill Climb, the longest hill climb in the world. It's the first time I've ridden both of these events, and the hill climb, the event itself is great fun. The location is just so special. You're up in the hills in the middle of Baja, and it's spectacular. The road up to the summit is just incredible. It's 30 kilometres of some of the best tarmac you will ever ride. If you ever get a chance to go and ride a motorbike on one piece of tarmac, the San Pedro hill climb is one of the ones you should do. Unfortunately, Eric did fall off and break his collarbone, but he's all fixed now, so that's a good thing, and he's ready to go for next year. So on the back of the Mexico Adventures, I even got to go and race Laguna Seca, and at that point I need to make a couple of thank yous. Firstly, to Eric, because Eric does all the organising for these ridiculous trips while I'm busy playing on motorbikes and having fun, he's the one who sits down and does the admin. So, thank you, Eric. The second thank you goes to Dave Thomas. Now, Dave is one of our American friends, and he was incredibly generous of loaning me his BMW so I could abuse it in Mexico and then try and crash it in Laguna Seca. So, big thank you to Dave, and I am going to try my best to repay the favour by getting him on a bike for the Manx Grand Prix this year. Laguna Seca is iconic for a reason. It is a brilliant piece of tarmac and it was great fun racing there. And I am, of course, looking forward to getting back on that side of the water and doing some more racing before too long. My non-riding highlight for last year was getting involved with the Marvel HCL Motorsports team at BSB and getting Franco Bourne winning races at Stock 600. That boy is an utter talent and he will be a bright star in the future, I promise you that. We won the first meeting of the year at Silverstone, and that just proved to everybody, including Franco, that he was good enough to win. Not sure he ever really doubted that, though. During the rest of the year, being short circuit racing, there are the occasional little ups and downs, but we finished the year with a double win at Brands Hatch, which was just breathtaking. And now we're really, really excited because it moves us nicely into this year. 
for 2023, we're going to be running Franco on a brand new Superstock Fireblade in Stock 1000, National Superstock, whatever they call it nowadays, and we are excited. The whole team know there is a lot of work involved in building new bikes, getting our heads around how the bikes work. We're going to be testing in Spain with Honda, and we know Franco is going to go well on that. We're just looking forward to getting them out there and seeing what we can do. So for my own racing for next year, the main target is still TT. I am not done with that yet, definitely not. After all, I need to beat Martin's lap time on my bike. So I've not just had my bottom lip out since TT and gone grumpy. I actually rode better at the Manx Grand Prix than I really did at TT, and that's not the only thing. I've been going up to Champions Flat Track School with Pete Boast and trying to get as much riding in as I can over winter and just getting used to the bike, sliding around and feeling for the grip and basically keeping my brain trained into going as fast as possible. So that is good. I'm also doing a little bit of yoga in the mornings because I am not a flexible person and so I need to be able to move around on the bike better and so I'm doing yoga along with all the other training I do. I will of course be doing some short circuit training and hopefully some road racing at Scarborough before the TT, but the TT is the main event. That is the thing we're really gearing up for. The Isle of Man event itself will be slightly different this year because there's not just me. Martin is going to TT. So we're in the process of building a Super Twin for him, and he also has a big bike and a 600. So we're just going to see what he gets entries for, and then we're going to go full steam into making him, hopefully, ever so slightly slower than me. After the TT, we will, of course, be going back to the Manx Grand Prix. I thoroughly enjoy riding the classic bikes around there, and there may be a new project in the pipeline, but you'll have to keep watching for that one. I also have my fingers crossed that the Ulster Grand Prix will be back for next year. There are rumours that it's running right before the Manx Grand Prix, and if it is, I am planning to be there, because that place is epic to ride around. Alongside the racing, I will of course be doing other things sat on a motorbike, and that includes my rider coaching with Rapid. So if you don't know about Rapid, go online, check out rapidtraining.co.uk, and I'm going to be doing more and more with Rapid. So that is going to be exciting. There will of course also be some projects going on in the workshop. The Ducati is very, very nearly finished, so once that's gone, there will be something else on the project bench. And I promise you, it's going to be a bit of a variation. <laughs> That brings me on to the final point. A thank you to you for watching my nonsense on YouTube. I'm over 10,000 subscribers now, and because you must be one of them, a big thank you to you personally. So what you should do now is pat yourself on the back and have a little bit of hair with the dog. You deserve it. Thank you for watching, and join me again next time when we'll be fiddling with more motorbikes.